Once we have created that .NET MAUI project, we will have a single project that will allow us to manage all the platforms, but there are different files, there are different folders inside the project structure, there are different options uh, inside Visual Studio to manage the project. Today, we are going to know about the structure of a .NET MAUI project. First of all, we are going to talk about the single project. The .NET MAUI single project takes platform-specific development experience and abstract them into a single shared project that can target several platforms like Android, iOS, macOS, Tyson, and Windows. A single .NET MAUI project provides a simplified and consistent cross-platform development experience managing all these different projects. And that includes a single shared project that can target different platforms, a simplified debug target selection for running .NET MAUI applications. We will see that we have a easy way to select in a comp box what is the debug target. We have a shared resource files within the single project, a single application manifest to manage the more basic information about the application, like the title, the identifier, or the version. We have also, of course, access to platform-specific APIs or even to platform-specific manifests where include more detailed, more specific about every platform, like, for example, the, the permissions that applications require. And also we have a single cross-platform application entry point. Let's start talking about resource. The single project allows you to store resource files in a single location while are consuming on each platform. This includes several kinds of files like image, between them the application icon, the splash screen, and also font files, CSS files, raw assets, etc. Typically, the resource files will be placed in the resource folder, and inside the resource folder, we will have subfolders, and based on where we put every resource inside that subfolders, we'll use a different build action. So for example, the application icon will use the MAUI icon build action, the font will use the MAUI font build action, the match will use the MAUI match build action, the splash screen will use the MAUI splash screen build action, raw files, MAUI asset, a CSS file, MAUI CSS. This will directly modify the content of your CS prod. We can also manually edit each option in the project settings and also modify the CS prod manually. But if we put every resource in the current folder, that will happen automatically. So the application icon can be added to the application project by just dragging an image into the project resource app icon folder, where its build action will be automatically set to Maui icon. This creates a corresponding entry point in the project file, and at build time, the application icon icon will be resized to the correct size for the target device and platforms. The resized app icons are added to the application package. So this will reduce the amount of work to, cre to create and put in the correct place all the necessary icons with the different size that we require in the different platforms. Then the match can be added to the application project in the same way, just dragging it into the resource image folder where the build action will be automatically be set to MAUI match. This will create the entry point in the project file with the MAUI match and the path to the match. Something similar happens with fonts using TTF or OTF can be added to the project, you dragging it to the resource font folder and the build action will be MAUI font and creating the correct entry point in the project file. With the splash screens happens something similar to the icon. A splash screen can be added just dragging an image into the resource splash folder. The build action will be Maui splash screen and will create the correct entry point in the project. And at build time, the splash screen image is resized to the correct size for the target device and platform. And this resized splash is added to the application package. We can have also raw files to cast HTML files, JSON files, for example, uh, M3 file or a video, and we can add it to the resource row folder. We'll be set the action, the build action to Maui asset, and we'll create the corresponding entry point. Then the controls, such as uh, the web view, can consume raw files as needed, like for example, web view source and index HTML that we have in the row folder inside the resource folder. Let's talk about the manifest. Each platform uses its own native app manifest to specify information 
like the title, identifier, version, etc. So the .NET MAUI single project allows you to specify this common application data in a single location in the project file, in the csprot, then to specify more detailed information like the permissions and more detailed data more related with every platform, we need to go to every um, manifest from every platform that you will find inside the platforms folder. And let's talk about platforms. To use platform specific code, a .NET MAUI application project contains the platforms folder, which is chill folder representing a platform that .NET MAUI can target. So inside the platforms folder, we can find an Android folder, iOS folder, Mac Catalyst folder, Dyson folder, and Wizen and Windows folder. In these folders, we can also include classes and at compilation time, the build system will include the code in each folder when building for that specific platform. Outside of these folders, we can use uh, compilation directives to conditional compile uh, to the correct target code specific to the platforms. Like for example, in a shard class, we can use if Android or if iOS with compilation directives to use different options. And let's talk about the entry point of the application. Uh, although the platforms folder contain platform specific code that launches application, it's platform. .NET MAU application have a single cross-platform application entry point. Each platform entry point calls that create MAUI method in the application project, MAUI uh, program a static class and return a MAUI application with this application entry point. So the MAUI program class must provide at least one application to run. So in the method create MAUI, we will specify in the use MAUI app the application entry point, the cross-platform application. The cross-platform application will use the main page property to set the initial page, the main page, entry page of your application. We are going to take a look to the single project used with a project like this, where the MAUI program class is the class that will, will register your services, initialize resource, handlers, etc. etc. You can define if you want to activate the, the lo a logger, the booger, etc. etc. And also is where we set what application we are going to use. In this case is application. An application will specify the main page class that will be the entry point of our application. In this case, the entry point of our application is shell. Shell, shell allow us to define the navigation pattern and visual hierarchy of our application defining, for example, uh, lateral menus, tabs, etc., or directly content of our application. In this case, the only content of our application will be a shell content, so a content page that will be the main page. So inside the views folder, the main page, this page, is the entry point of our application. In fact, if I go back in this application, this grid demos is this title. We have a table view with all these options that we can see here. This is the entry point of our application. Then, of course, we can have more page, navigate between page, etc., etc. But uh, all this code is, of course, shared between all the platforms. So the UI, thanks to the abstraction that give us .NET MAUI, is defined just one for all the platforms. Then we have the resource folder. In the app icon, we have the icon of the application. We have fonts in the font folder, image in the match folder, row files in the row folder, the splash screen in the row in the splash folder. And we can have more folders here like styles and strings if we are localizing our application, etc. etc. If we want to see the build action of these options, we can see the project file. So Maui icon is inside the resource application. Maui splash screen is inside the resource splash. It's all the build actions that we have seen before in the theory. Then we have the platforms folder. For example, inside Android, we have the native entry point and the manifest for uh, the Android application. Remember that in the properties of the .NET Maui single project, we have a cross-platform manifest that allow us to define uh, shared properties like the title, the identifier, you know, the version, etc. But if we want to set something specific on Android, 
like for example uh, some um, permissions like access to anything, the camera for example, or get access to uh, setting the APK from Google Maps or something like that, we need to go to every specific manifest from every platform. Also, we can define a new class here, add a new class, and we can create, for example, a custom handler or a services or an effect or something specific for this platform for Android. And this code will only be compiled when we are building the application and running the application for Android. Outside, for example, in the main page, code behind, we can use here uh, compilation directives. So we can do something like if Android, for example, I'll only set, for example, the building context to this in Android and to other things in other platform. We can do things like that in this way, while to the book, and choose the correct target, we have different options. We can use inside Visual Studio tooling, span the picker, choose the target, net Android, iOS, for example. So for example, we can choose Android. And once we choose another target, we will be able to pick any of the options available to target and the book, uh, to the book this target. Like for example, all the available Android emulators or devices that I have connected. Of course, inside the single project, you can create as many folders as you require to structure and organize your code better, like, for example, a view models folder, converters folder, etc. By default, all these folders will be compiled and used in all the platforms, will be shared code between all the platforms. The only platforms that uh, the only code that will be compiled used by platform is the platforms folder or you can use other techniques or options like compilation directives, etc., etc. So this is the single project, the entry point, remember, Maui program, create application, the application set the main page, then you set the main page that will define a cross-platform UI, share it with a single code base. Then you have the resource files with the different build actions and the platforms folder with code specific by platforms. If you have learned something new or like the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon.